Hello, and thank you for supporting us through Etsy. In this video, I will be unpacking and showing you step by step how to set up your People Mover mechanical model. For this assembly, you'll need your model kit, a set of small needle nose pliers, a shallow point box opener, and a hot glue gun, which is optional. To best assure proper care, please open the box through the label with a shallow point. Next, carefully remove the roof assembly of the car and set it aside. Next, carefully slide out the bubble wrapped hardware package, making sure not to drop any of the small parts. Set this aside as well. If you selected a translucent model, remove the base pieces from the box and set them aside separately. Next, using two fingers under each side, carefully remove the car body from the box. Make sure to watch the white size blocks attached to the main car body to avoid detaching them. Again, if you selected the translucent model, remove the middle part of the base from the bottom of the box. Please open the bubble wrap package and note the included parts. Pinned inside the bubble wrap are two roof column cylinder and shaft assemblies. Carefully remove these from the bubble wrap and set them on top. Note the insertion direction of the shaft as this is important. There should be a small set of silver joint pins. Carefully tear the edge flashing off. You will only need four, but two spares are provided. Next, there are two blue door crank arms and two yellow joint link pieces. These are spares for the hardware assembly already installed in your model and will not be installed in this video. Take the roof assembly and locate the ball joint tabs on the side of the underside of the roof. Take one of the roof cylinder and shaft assemblies and holding the eyelid part of the assembly at an angle like shown, carefully, slowly, but firmly press the eyelid into the middle of the ball joint tabs. It should flex apart slightly and the eyelid should click on. Repeat this step with the other roof cylinder and shaft assembly and note the shaft orientation. Next, take one of the silver joint pins and insert the thin part carefully through the slot of the roof assembly, through the eyelet of the roof shaft, and then through the opposite slot. Then carefully with a finger, gently bend the thin strip of the joint pin downward, deforming it. Again, repeat this step with the other assembly. Next, please take your car assembly and slide the body shells out from the sides, exposing the internal mechanics, and set the shells aside. If there is a dot of glue on the back side, please remove it. Gently holding the completed roof assembly, orient the roof so that it will tilt up on the side of the entry doors of the car. Lower the roof shafts down through the black slots in the car chassis, allowing the shafts to pass through. The bottom side of the roof shafts have a flat side. Please place these flat sides in parallel to the red roof crank piece on the chassis. This piece rotates downward. When operating your model, do not force the doors if you encounter a bit of resistance. This is normal. If you should encounter resistance, simply gently move the doors with your hand. With the roof shaft slotted into the red crank piece, insert another silver pin through the red piece, through the eyelet on the roof shaft, and then out the other side. Carefully bend the thin tabs of the pins downward. Again, repeat this step on the other side. Once you have completed this, you may choose to add a touch of glue to the roof assembly cylinders to hold the roof steady down by the chassis. Next, please cup the roof with your hand, using your thumb to lift the roof from the side to test its functionality. Finally, please reinsert the body shell pieces with the joining pin into the double-sided slot on the back side of the car. Again, you may choose to add a dot of glue near this spot to hold the body shells on. For the replacement blue and yellow pieces, please contact us for more detailed tutorials on how to replace these parts as there are more involved. 
If you selected the translucent model, take the puzzle-like pieces on the side and match the letters on the bottom to the letters on the bottom of the middle section of the base. Press them firmly into each other, then place the model down on the base. And that concludes the assembly process of this mechanical model of the People Mover car. Once again, thank you for choosing Light Rides and Amusement Labs, and thank you for your support. For more information or to get assistance with a purchase, please message us on Etsy and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming exciting ventures into bringing the parks home. Thank you for watching and supporting. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the parks.